Hello all, I am Nikhil from MyGeeks Blog and today in this video we will customize the iPhone home screen. But before getting started, I would request you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time we upload a new video. Now if you have done that, let's move ahead and start customizing. So as we all know, iOS 14 is out now and let me tell you, it looks amazing. It offered me a complete experience that I always wanted to have in iOS. Yes, even the customization option. But it totally depends on a user on how much customization they prefer. We can have a stock home screen that has nothing to do with the third party widgets. Some of us would be interested in adding a new widgets using the application like a widget smith. And the letter comes those who have changed their entire look of their iPhone home screen by adding a fancy app icons and placing up a new widgets. I tried and tested these levels of customization and decided to share with you guys. So let's start with some basic customization. Apple introduced the functionality to add widgets of multiple applications on a home screen and customize it according to our needs. We can do this by tapping and pressing anywhere at the empty space of the screen and activate the jiggle mode. Now press the plus icon and select from the suggestion or pick the application name to place as a widget on your home screen. I can place this widget instead of app icons onto my home screen to get timely information of my favorite apps just at a glance. It was great, but I was not surprised by it. Don't get me wrong, I mean it pretty simple as I am able to achieve a decent look. But I am looking for something more than a decent look and that's why I installed the application named Widgetsmith. Now I am able to achieve a look that you can see and it's a good in my opinion. I am kind of happy with what I was getting offered even without paying a premium fee. This allowed me to customize the widget that you can apply on your home screen to make it look better. I can place widget of calendars, world time, reminders, health, astronomy and photos for free. Whereas weather and tide information would require a premium access of USD 1.99 a month or a USD 19.99 a year. I also get option inside the application itself to change the font, font color, background color and even the border color just to achieve the look that I want. I can also place my favorite photo, custom text or a, even a blank widget on a home screen if I use this application. I am really impressed by this application as this has every customization of the widget that I could possibly get. If you want to know how to use Widgetsmith to customize your iPhone, we have a dedicated video on this. Click on the i button or find the video link in the description below. But I am still not satisfied and I decided to take a next step changing the app icons. Before sharing how, I would like to tell you that it took lot of time. Why? Let me explain. The process doesn't include any third party application nor is simple to follow. Just open shortcut app. Tap on plus button in the top right corner. Tap on add action. Search for open app and tap on it. Tap choose and select the app that you want to customize. Tap on the three dots in the top right corner. Type in the application name. And tap on add to home screen. And tap on the icon besides the name. Tap choose photo and add a desired photo that you want to be the icon. Then press add and then done. The same application with the new icon will be added to the home screen. But now, you will notice there are two icons that perform the same job. In order to remove the original app from the home screen, just tap and hold it. Now remove app and then select move to library. Now you will be left with the one app icon to open that application. And to be honest, I am satisfied with the look that I achieved after this. But after following all this process, whenever I click on the app icon, it would first redirect me to the shortcut app and then open up that particular application and this annoyed me a lot. Hold on and allow me to take a break over here. Have you noticed that I have used a complete custom set of an icon with the same design? If you did, then now the question is from where I have found those or how will you get that? Don't worry, I have collected all these icon and a few more. Check the link from the description to download them all. Now let me share my opinion. According to me, you must try out customizing your iPhone home screen with one of these three different styles. If you like simplicity, pick the default widgets that app offers. Or if you wish to change the complete look of your iPhone home screen, use Widgetsmith and change the app icon can be the best option for you. So this is the customization that you can do with your iPhone running iOS 14. I hope you love this video. 
if you did give a big thumbs up and subscribe to this youtube channel to motivate us i am nikhil signing off thanks for watching stay safe stay connected